To create a Next.js project with Firebase authentication, we need two things. One, a Firebase account. Two, a Next.js project with a way to authenticate the user. Start by going to firebase.google.com, sign in and go to the console. Create a new Firebase project, give it a name and disable analytics for now. Find and go to authentication and press get started. In here, we will add the email provider and enable email slash password and press save. Go to project settings, scroll down, press the web app, give your app a name, skip hosting and press register. Scroll down some more and leave this page open while we set up the Next.js project. Give it another name, select the defaults, select some more defaults, install the Firebase Firebase hooks and Tabular icons package, hit yarn dev to start the local server and we are done. Let's hop into the code. Remove junk from the home page, add a nice title, add some links and close that tip. Fix the imports. Look at our beautiful website. Let's remove the junk from globos.css. We'll get back here later. Create a sign up page. Add some boilerplate. A nice title, two input fields, and a button. Close the div. Connect the inputs with two use states and add a submit function. For this to work, we need a router to create user hook and a hook to send a verification email and fix the imports. Let's add the Firebase config into a file called firebase.ts. Go back to Firebase, copy the config. Also add the auth hook in here. Hmm, oops. Forgot to set the input type to a password. Create the sign in page by copy pasting the sign up page. Change the sign up hooks to the sign in hook. Update the sign up title and button text to sign in. Let's create an account on our website. Hmm. Hmm. Let's add our styles to the globals.css and set the input color to black, just in case. Ah. It works! Let's add some text to let the user know it works. To make it easy for us, create a component called signed in, which will render content if the user is signed in. Fix the imports and create a component for content we only want to show if the user is not signed in. Jump back to our homepage, add our new components in the imports and some React Firebase hooks so we can read the user and sign them out. Get the user, the loading state and sign out function. Show a spinner while loading, add a title in our new signed in component. We will show the user email and if they have verified their email or not. Add a red sign out button and close the signed in component. Wrap the links in the signed out component. Hop over to the website and now the user can see their account status. I've received a verification email and clicking the link in the email verifies our account. Test the sign in page. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, bye.